So we're gonna to attempt to make a uh, genuine Cuban coffee. A uh, <clears throat> friend of ours is Cuban and lives down in the Miami area and brought us this and said, this is how you do it. So we're gonna try our first attempt at making this and let's uh, kind of film this as we go. Be espresso maker pot that she gave me. You unscrew it. She, she said to, this is the strainer. She said to fill the water to about here and she said I could use any type of water. Um, right below. Right below the spout. Right below the spout. The the little steam. I guess that's the little steam valve. Is it below? It? Yes. Okay. And then she said, the strainer that you take two tablespoons of the espresso pure coffee this will be super strong i would think i'm gonna put on my you can flash gordon outfit and run around the house zoom 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 you can stop and i can edit it okay Ooh, that's that flavor seal do you hear that it's like it sucked in air for the first time. Ooh, it smells very good. You need some help? It smells like coffee. All right. Okay, she's got two tablespoons. Cool. Oh, can you hold this so it doesn't fill, spill? You want to do it with a sink? Hey, look at us thinking. She didn't say to pack it, but she did say to make it level. I'm not going to put any more than that. She can probably handle hers a lot stronger than we can. Okay. Okay. We really got some on top. Just set it there. I'll get it. Okay. I'll hold it here. And you put oh, this. Yeah. Oh, this is flat. Okay. All right, so it's flat. See how it's level? All right. Now what? Okay. Now, this goes back on. It just screws back on. This goes on the burner. This is plastic, so she said just set it on the edge of the burner because all of this is metal except for the handle. Okay. And this part. So we're going to take it over here. Do it on that, or does it matter? I don't think it really matters. Okay. Okay. She said while this is getting hot, to put some sugar in a coffee cup. Okay. See how we got the the handle away. That way we can still touch it and not burn our hands. How much sugar? She said about three tablespoons. Okay. Because the coffee will be strong. Super strong. Super strong. Okay. And I'm not measuring this with a tablespoon. I'm just using a regular spoon. Okay. She did say when the coffee starts, it will come out of, a little bit of it will come out of the top of this. And we use a little bit of that to to dilute, I guess, to uh, dissolve the sugar. Okay. Well, we probably need to keep that closed. That way the heat stays in it. Yeah. For now, yeah. Well, okay. I just want to make sure I catch it in time. <clears throat> we'll probably hear it. When you think? I'm not sure. This is my first time doing anything like this. It's nice and warm because it's cold in the house. Okay, this is, uh, we've been several minutes of it sitting here. This is the first time it's actually made a noise, which I'm assuming <clears throat> is just it starting to boil inside of this bottom pot. I don't think anything's coming up yet. Nope, nothing yet. 
And did she, say, did she say how much needs to be in there before we put it in the sugar? Or just some? Just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> just be patient. It's not doing anything yet. It just started bubbling. It is kind of exciting that it's now making sound, so. I imagine you gotta be really careful not to touch that metal, though. That metal probably burn you. I would think so. Ooh, here's something. No, you don't. Oh, hey, that's what happens if it's not closed tight. <laughs> okay, so now it is on the burner, and I can hear it starting to boil. And hopefully some of the coffee is going to come out of it. There we go. It's sweet. Now I'm supposed to mix this with some sugar. Okay, you take that off. And you pour this little bit into your sugar. You put this back over here. And let it finish making. Then I'm going to come back to my cup. Now this will be espresso, so it's going to be super, super strong. I should be able to clean the whole house, zoom around the yard for a couple of hours. It's making espresso. You hear it? This is supposed to be like a shot of espresso. That's just condensation. I think it's done. Yeah, but you don't want to touch the metal, that's for sure. So now I'm going to take this little bit over here. It's kind of difficult to do. some strong coffee. Very, very hot. And there you have it. Espresso. Okay, made espresso. It is really strong. So I added a tiny bit of creamer to it, but it's good. It's, um, it only makes a small amount, which is like a Cuban shot, but it is very good, very strong. I'll be able to zoom around for the rest of the day. Thank y'all for watching. So this is a culmination of videos. My wife actually made me a cup of the espresso today, and um, this is past our previous videos. We've kind of blended three videos here together. So anyway, it tastes really good. Um, I didn't add anything to it. It's just the sugar and the, and the espresso. Mm. Woo! Feels like you could like tackle anything. Who needs the cocaina? This stuff right here, holy cow. Cubans, espresso. Mm -hmm. I don't know about words. It's just muy. It's all muy. So. Thanks for watching. <laughs>